creative, flexible team player. It's a real pleasure for me to come to work. So today uh, we're at the City Arts Centre, Edmonton, and it's a big centre for the arts. Lots of things goes on here. Today I am teaching an acrylic painting course. It's a beginner intermediate course. So we've got lots of different students. I teach different things and so it's nice for me to know that I can come to the city and I have a course that I teach at a specific time every time and I'm able to adapt it as I learn and grow with my students. It mixes in with the paint, goes grey and it's not good for the paint, but any kind of lead pencil or colored pencil usually just wipes off with a cloth and water. The city's always there for me. I, if I want to teach another class at any time, they're very open to discussing what kinds of new ideas that I have. If I need to, for whatever reason, take a break, there's always people there to, to back me up. I feel really supported and like I have colleagues and a team that I can rely on. Excellent. Is that, how are you feeling that? It's coming better than it was. Okay. The most rewarding thing for me are my students. I love people, I love working with people. The secret of using these little brushes is to have just enough so it runs like ink for you. They want to be taught something new and at the same time they want to know that they're able to do it. I just love taking people into new arenas of their life. It's very rewarding. As you can see how it's darkest right against mm -hmm. here and that's how that the bottom of the bowl or the ball pops out, right? The rush I get from teaching students is really about, for me, a fulfilling life, something meaningful. Creativity tends to bring out people's self-doubts, their judgments. This looks awful now in the daylight. <laughs> Why you painted in the dark? I like to encourage that and have people embrace their individuality, their abilities to develop their own techniques, their own color strategies, and it's, it's almost like they're developing themselves. They're bringing out their true colors, their true nature through paint. You know, it looks really good. You know what you're missing? What? It's just the shadow that you're missing. Oh, I didn't know what I was doing, I just did. <laughs> well, good. I That's how you actually learn to paint, I just saw. do it. One of the prime reasons why I teach art and creativity is to have people really access their inner spirit, their inner creative drive, their creative life urges that make them unique to the world. It's fairly close to what this is, and so mm -hmm. if you want it to pop more, you're going to decide what you're going to make lighter and what you're going to make darker. I've never worked in a better corporate environment. Not only is the corporate culture, the team building, the staff really helpful, but it's a good pay scale. There's excellent benefits. Take this, it's pure white, and take it up here, right? And then what I would put behind that is something dark. I like to have my own space and my own freedom to teach, and I find that my skills are appreciated, and I'm given free reign in order to really excel. Find all the really dark spots in them and see how brave you are at putting them in there. I feel proud of my city to be able to, to work in this environment. It's flexible, it creates life balance for me because I'm actually able to teach at the City Arts Centre but also able to access through working here a lot of the city's programs just because I'm an employee and I, I like it. Yeah. I shall try it. Okay. <laughs> I ruined it, you owe me a canvas. <laughs> okay. If you're considering a career change, consider coming to work for the City of Edmonton. For me, it's really created a balance between um, a balanced lifestyle and doing what I love.